Hey guys, you're not going to see me in this video. Hello. And in case you're wondering, there's chapstick way over there. So I'm going to reorganize my eyeshadow palettes. This is what it looks like. These are all of my eyeshadow palettes. This is the Swamp of Sorrows that hides from me even though it's in the front because it's so small. A few, a few singles. And these are my gel liners. But from here to here to here this one and here these are all of my eyeshadow palettes and when i was saying i wanted to this is an empty palette um natasha denona quint so when i was saying i wanted to rearrange it is because i did buy some new palettes once the no buy was over and i like having my eyeshadow palettes all of them where i can see them this is this whole container is my face stuff and there's brushes in the back so I do like having the brushes there these are my eyeshadow brushes some of them um, but there's dead space back here and so what I'm going to do for right now and I will show you when this is done these are my lid brushes these are my crease brushes even though I don't do traditional crease blending brushes I should call those and these are brushes that I use for lower lash line. And those were there because as you saw, they fit nicely in this space. So I'm going to just turn these sideways so they don't fall over. So <clears throat> for where the large palettes are, what I was saying before, these small palettes, the smaller ones, these are lethal right here. They come to the top of the container where all of these palettes are. And my concern was when I used to have these in here, I didn't see them, but because I pull out my eyeshadow palettes and makeup before I do my makeup videos, it shouldn't be a problem, right? But it's just something about wanting to see them. And so this is gonna go away. This is the paper that I had my pressed pigment notes on. So that's that can go away. These papers, Okay, this is Mothman Palette, so I'm going to keep that there. Circle Loco eyeshadow looks to do, and I don't know what this is. Oh, this is more pressed pigment information. This right here is the paper that I printed out that had the description of the Mothman shades. <laughs> okay, so you see the first one was 1966. It's described as a golden... Excuse me, a champagne gold sparkle shadow. I'm not going to go through them all, but I printed those out because most of... The shadows in Mothman are dual chrome and multi-chrome. And so I wanted to know as best as I could, like what they would look like when I put them on because they don't show up the way they are. And this sits here, which I don't like because then it hides from me because the sideways and everything else is facing forward. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take these out. <clears throat> makeup remover wipes which I seldom use because I don't use my hands for makeup so I'm going to have to figure out where I'm going to put those this is an empty box I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with that because I'm still trying to figure out if I'm going to keep the retro glam palette so that's why I still have the box and I think if I do get the new Natasha palette the one that is looking like the Xenon Quint I may mix some of those shadows with this one but put these some of these shades in the Xenon one because I think I like that packaging better because it's darker. And what else is back here is the empty cup holder. And there's the other half of the cup holder. And it has this mirror in here and makeup remover that hasn't been opened yet. So this can go somewhere else this can go somewhere else which leaves me with all of this space and so what i'm thinking is to push those back and i think i'm going to finish this and then come back and show you because i can take these lethal byops well i think one is not a byop like they can just stand here but what i what I'm thinking too is to move the motherships to the other end, but they do all just fit nicely, like right here. And this side is completely full. This side has a little bit of space and I could put the lethal one right here in front of it actually. But so I'm not sure 
and this is like way down here and so if i were to just look at it and look to see like what palette i want to use i can't see the palettes like i would actually have to go in here and be like okay that's teresa's lethal okay this is this one oh what's this little palette over here oh that's another lethal whereas when they were sitting here i know exactly what they are i could see what the quints are that's the empty one but i can see what the quints are and these are my mac byops and so i just like being able to see what it is and even with the mac bops like i don't know what's inside of it but i know it's a mac byop and the same with the lethal ones i don't know what's inside of it but it's right here and easy to pick up and so i'm going to just rearrange some things and see what we can do with this space and I don't like to mix eyeshadows with face palettes, but I may just put some palettes back here because I like how this is set up where it's from smallest to the taller palettes. And so I'm going to do that. And when I come back, I'm going to show you what I did and also where I put the brushes because I did like having the eyeshadow brushes over here where the eyeshadows were. So I'm going to figure some stuff out and then we will come back and I'll show you what I did. So this is what we have and it did not even take that long. What I don't like though is I have three singles right here <laughs> and then I have my three setting powders. Then I have gel liners here. I don't like having them all in one container, but in a way it makes sense. And so we have our three singles. We have this small quint eyeshadow palettes, which are next to the face stuff, which I don't like that either. But at least it's kind of lined up. So we have the three singles, have this um, mini quint quad, 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 Swamp of Sorrows palettes come straight back. Um, MAC palettes here, palettes. I put Mothman back here, so at least I will see it. And then we have palettes, and then we have palettes. And when we come back, we have the setting powders, um, the three gel liners that didn't fit in here. So gel liners and gel liners. Finishing powder, finishing powder, highlight, 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 face palette, blush, bronzers, highlighters, face palettes. And we move the brushes over here. So these are lid brushes. These are blending brushes. These are lower lash line brushes. And these we kept in the same place. These ones here I use for my eyeshadow primer and concealer for under my lower lash line. These are the brushes I usually use. Um, for lower lash line or if I want detailed outer V work. So all of these brushes in here are I think the same And then we have our gel eyeliner brushes back here. So that did not take long at all. And Yeah, this is my eyeshadow and my face palette collection and I will be Rearranging again and doing a declutter once I show you guys what I purchased because then I need to make room for the new stuff But let me know what you think like does this make sense like how it's set up and everything is more or less you know in its own kind of road type thing so thank you for being here to help me do this and you will see me in the next video